Welcome ladies and gentlemen. Kiambu County is on fire. As members of parliament, MCS are not in good terms with the current governor Wamatangi. Now, there is a video that is circulating in social media as the member of parliament of Gatundu South constituency Kiambu County, Kangombe, stormed Wamatangi's meeting with his followers as the drama was so pathetic as members of parliament like Kangombe now is showing Wamatangi that look, we are the people in Kiambu County. You cannot do anything without us. This is the video of Kangombe storming the Wamatangi's organized You've watched whatever is happening in Kiambu. And that video is going to be our base on analysis in this video. But before we do that, ladies and gentlemen, Irene and I are planning our Nyombo introduction traditional wedding on 23rd September in Busia County. We are reaching out to friends to support in actualizing this plan. I know you've been supporting me and this time around, I know you're gonna support me. So I'm requesting you with a humble heart, support me by contributing what you have I will appreciate so much through the MPESA number that I'm displaying on the screen. I will appreciate so much and I will appreciate again and again for you making me actualizing this plan. Before we continue again, if you are a visitor for the first time, please consider subscribing, liking, commenting and sharing this video. Don't forget to like this video, give your opinion at the comment section below and share this video. Now, when you look at the issue of Kiambu County, I've realized something very crucial. Kiambu is burning. 
politically. Kiambu is burning politically. It is not a matter of time. It is not a matter of when. But Kiambu is burning. If I'm saying that Kiambu is burning politically, is that the current governor Wamatangi is not having good relationship with the current MCS in Kiambu County. The same to members of parliament. Wamatangi wants to be on his own. He wants to be the governor. And he wants to be him and himself in Kiambu County. And because he won election, he believes that he can do anything he wants. This is a scenario that we connect also what happened uh, in May with uh, Kawira Mwangaza where she was not even having good relationship with MCS, members of parliament of Meru County. This is something that is happening also in Kiambu County. You cannot come out to organize a certain meeting in Kiambu County in area that Kangombe was elected as a member of parliament of Gatundu South constituency. MCAs of that area, they are not there. They have been neglected and they are being blocked not to access that meeting. They are being blocked not to access that meeting. They are being told that this is a meeting of governor. This is the affairs of the governor. You can't do anything. So in a matter of fact, Wamatangi Nikifuatu is not doing something to unite all leaders in Kiambu County. This is not for the first time. We've seen this scenario very in various counties in Mount Kenya region. Where members of parliament and MCAs are against the current governor. The reason behind their claiming that the governor is blocking them, as you have seen, as you have seen, a member of parliament is being blocked. And even it reached a, a point that at a microphone in Mezimiwa, Wakati huyo member of parliament anaongea. Yes, the microphone is being blocked. Inafungwa na polisi. Na hii polisi inatumwa, inasemekana, these are heads that has been directed by Wamatangi, that look, this member of parliament should not come out to direct or lecture me in my meeting. So Wamatangi wants to be on his own. He doesn't want any advice. He doesn't want any unity when it comes to the politics and also the agenda ideologies of Kiambu County. He wants the MCAs wafanyi kazi kivyao, member of parliament wafanyi kazi kivyao. He wants the credit to be amounted on him, him, and alone. And that is why many meetings in Kiambu, Wamatangi, anafanya kivyake. Can I ask you a simple question? Have you ever seen any unity where MCAs wamekutana tu pamoja fup, na member of parliament wamekutana na wameenda kufanya kazi pamoja na Wamatangi? The other day, MCAs came out giving their press briefing. They say they, want, they are planning to impeach Wamatangi. The same two members of parliament are claiming that Wamatangi is not easy for them to work with Wamatangi because Wamatangi is neglecting them, blocking them. And even as we speak, Wamatangi has been removed from the WhatsApp group of Kiambu leadership. And this is also being revealed by the senator of Kiambu County. The other day he came out saying that Wamatangi is not working to unite them to them to achieve their agenda and ideology on what they were elected on. So specifically, Wamatangi is on a rough road. And he, if he's going to continue like this, like this, you know, Wamatangi understands that now, even if he's going to be impeached, he's going to be rescued in Senate. And that is why he has the gut to, to block them. And he has the authenticity to say that, no, this is my meeting. So that is whatever is happening in Kiambu County. As Kiambu is scattered, we member of parliament and Fanya Kiviake, 
UMCA anafanya kivi yake no unity wanajuana tu walichaguliwa that is all ladies and gentlemen what are those what are those drop your opinion at the comment section below but before we end this video ladies and gentlemen Irene and I are planning our Nyombo introduction traditional wedding on 23rd September in Busia County. We are reaching out to friends to support in actualizing this plan. So I'm requesting you the humble heart. Support me by contributing what you have. I will appreciate so much through the Mpesa number that I'm displaying on the screen. I know you've been supporting me and I know you will not let me down. Please consider supporting me. I will appreciate so much. Otherwise, don't forget to like this video. You give your opinion in the comment section below and don't forget to share this video. Bye-bye till we meet on another video.